Welcome, hello, happy when Thursday. Thursday evening, everybody. My name is Ollie with Big Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here with us this evening for a very fun night of 2021 trivia. We're going to talk all about last year. Uh, we're going to focus on all the fun things. So a lot of movie, TV, uh, sports trivia. I'm sure some of you love that. Uh, a lot more of that, all of that than usual, uh, but everything about last year. So I'm going to tell you all about that game and how the system works here in just a moment. But before I dive into any details, I want to make sure that everybody that is out there, if you haven't yet, at this time, you join the online game website. So we've got the link here in the description of the video. We've got it on the screen at the bottom. You can click on the link if you were emailed it, or you can get there manually by going to crowd.live, putting in the game code 1622A. That's all you gotta do. Once you're there, it's gonna ask you for just a few pieces of information. It looks just like this. So the top blank, it says enter Playing your... from Ollie's Whoa, Pro. don't play Two. anything. Shh. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Alexa is taking over the world. All right. Uh, so if you want to play, this top blank is where you're entering in. It says your nickname. That's essentially your team name. Whatever you put on the first blank is what's going to show up on the standings board as we go through the game. Uh, secondly is your email address. Nobody else sees this. The only reason that we use it is in case for any reason the internet freezes on you or you have to rejoin the game. As long as you use the same email address, you're going to continue earning points rather than having to start all the way over. Uh, last but not least, just for fun, whenever we do online events, I love to see where people are joining us from. So you don't have to if you don't want to take the time. But if you want to, go ahead and type that in. And either way, click on Join. Once you see this screen that says the game will begin shortly, that is a good sign. That means you're all set. There's nothing else that you need to do at this point until we actually start the first question, which we're going to do here in just a few moments. Uh, until then, once again, thank you so much for being here. My name is Ali. I'll be your host this evening. I'm not the only person in the room. You heard my wife, Gina. You may have heard at some point already. Uh, Taco's in here. The camera's not quite pointed on him, uh, but Taco's here. There he is. Uh, and we've also got uh, another dog that we're fostering right now that we'll, we'll show you all later. Uh, I'm sure some of you have already seen. But either way, uh, I always like to point out that they're here because at some point you'll probably hear them. They like to bark. But I always just say that's them encouraging you to do as good as you can at trivia. So with that said, tonight's game, as I mentioned previously, are all questions about 2021. So everything that happened last year... But uh, with the caveat, I tried to focus on happy things, fun things, entertainment things. So we're not going to talk a lot of politics or tragedies, uh, but we will be talking probably more than usual about sports and movies and TV and awards, uh, things that made 2021 unique. So with that said, there's no order to these questions. I didn't categorize anything. Everything shuffled up. They have uh, nothing in common in terms of difficulty, so we're not going to have all the easy questions in the beginning and all the tough questions later. Everything's mixed up once again. Uh, last but not least, the one thing that they do all have in common is that these are multiple choice questions. So certainly some of these questions are going to be tough, uh, especially maybe if you're not a sports fan or you don't watch a lot of movies. But every question tonight, you've at least got a 25% shot of earning yourself some points because... How it works is I will ask you the question. You'll see it here on YouTube. You'll hear it. You'll also see it on your device, which is where you'll be answering, whether that's your phone or your web browser. All you have to do, once you see the four options pop up on the screen, is click the one that you think is the correct answer. If you're correct, you're going to earn your team up to 150 points. But that is based on how quickly you answer. So 
even though you have a one in four shot, it still pays now to answer quickly because if you lock your answer in right away, you'll earn more points than somebody who locks their answer in five seconds later, even if you both answered correctly. So just another thing to be thinking about as we go through this, make sure you're answering quickly, but be careful because once you click on an answer, you can't switch to a different one. If you click on A, you can't switch to B and vice versa. So with all of that said, there's not much else to the system. The one other thing that you do need to know as a participant is you're never penalized for answering incorrectly. You never lose points uh, or lose anything that matter. The only thing that happens, you don't earn anything. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because since all of the answers are on the board, you can always take a wild guess. And maybe you luck out and you guess correctly, but you're never harmed. You don't lose any points if you're wrong. So no reason to leave anything blank today. So with all of that said, uh, that's really all we need to know about how the game works because the very first question that we're going to do here in just a moment is a practice question. And all that means is that it's not going to be worth any points. It's going to look just like all the other questions will. It's going to work just like all the other questions will. But nothing ever to be lost. But on this uh, question, nothing to be gained either. So I'm going to get that one loaded up. We'll throw it up on the screen and we'll dive into that here in just one moment. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. Question number one, our practice question this evening, what is the name of your host today? So obviously that's me. This is the practice question. It's not meant to be tough, uh, but don't feel bad. If this is your first time, maybe you forgot, that's okay. Uh, but we're gonna do this one together. So question number one, what is the name of your host today? Is my name John, George, Ringo, or Ali? So you have 30 seconds to answer. Timer is going down. Uh, and we are going to make sure that those answers are not on the screen next time. There we go. All right, all right, all right. And everybody's in. Time is up. Again, this is just a practice question, so we're going to see how everybody did. Two people said John. One person said George. Four people said Ringo. Seven people said Ali. Unfortunately, I'm not a bingo. D, a bingo, a beetle. Bingo would be fun, too. Well, I am not, not a, a beetle. Uh, D is the correct answer. Great job. If you answered D and this had been an actual question worth points, you'd be earning somewhere between one and 150 based on how quickly you lock that in. The only other thing about the screen that I haven't mentioned up to this point, but this is a great time to let you know on the screen, as you see right now, the Beatles waving at you. Most of the time, the pictures or the gifts on the screen are just for fun. Just like this one, it wasn't meant to help you choose an answer, it's just there as entertainment. Uh, now, nine times out of 10, that's the case, but there are a couple questions tonight where you will have to look at the picture to answer, or it may help you answer, and I'll be sure to point that out. Otherwise, just enjoy the pictures as they come. So here we go, good luck everybody. Question number two, the first real question of the evening uh, this past September. Uh, according to statistics released, what became the number one most streamed show of all time on Netflix? Which of these shows became the most streamed show of all time on Netflix? Was it Squid Game, Bridgerton, Money Heist or Stranger Things? All right, once again, not a, a Netflix person. Take a guess. Everybody is in. Let's see what we thought. 12 people said Squid Game, that Korean hit. One person said Bridgerton. One person said Stranger Things. Uh, that's coming back soon, we think. Still no release date. Uh, but the correct answer is Squid Game. Great job. If you put A, you got yourself points here. Uh, question number three. Maybe. Here we go. In February of 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover 
landed on Mars. Uh, on that rover, it had a helicopter drone that was named What's The first helicopter-controlled helicopter to be flown on Mars was named what? Was it imagination, intuition, inspiration, or ingenuity? It starts with an I. I'll give you a hint. How are you doing? Oh, I mean, I got the first one. 100%? I got the second one. I guess it's only been... Gina's playing along tonight. She doesn't... Gina doesn't typically play trivia, but uh, she had absolutely no part in making this one today. I did it uh, earlier today. Uh, she just got home from work, so... Um, I also um, forget each day as it passes, <laughs> so don't worry about me. I won't be Yeah, and, well, everybody saw me have to ask you live what day it was. <laughs> Happy uh, Wednesday evening. All right, everybody's in, so nobody was really sure about this one. Apparently, two people said imagination and intuition. Four people said ingenuity. Six people said inspiration. I think these could all be Stevie Wonder song titles. <laughs> uh, ingenuity? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the correct answer is actually ingenuity. Uh, maybe the one that's not Stevie Wonder title yet. Uh, ingenuity, the correct answer. Four of you got points for that, so separating the pack a little bit here. But we have a lot of questions tonight, uh, my friends. So we will look at the standings throughout this game. I haven't mentioned we that yet. Persevere. Uh, ha! Perseverance. That was good. Uh, at the 2021 Academy Awards, the Oscars, which film received the most Oscar nominations? Overall, any category, which film received the most Oscar nominations? Was it Nomad Land? The Trial of the Chicago 7, Mank, or Minari? Nice gift. Yeah, thank you. Alright, alright, alright. Couple seconds left. Once again, if you're not sure, you didn't watch the Oscars. Uh, you don't remember, type something in. All right, here we go. Yeah, I guess you can't type any. Oh, you could. I don't know if you can actually hit A, B, C, or D on the keyboard. Um, nine people said No Man Land. Three people said Mank. And two people said Minari. Uh, nobody said the Trial of Chicago 7. That's the only one on this list that I've seen. Um, the correct answer is actually Mank. So good job, three of you. Yeah, I think it won a lot of smaller awards. Uh, Mank, good correct job, answer. Good people. Yeah. Question number five. We'll look at the standings for the first time after this question. I'm very close to the camera, I'm realizing. Uh, here we go. Question number five. Uh, this past April 2021, Hideki Matsuyama became the first Japanese golfer to win a men's major golf championship at which event? Was it the Open Championship, the Masters, the PGA Championship, or the U.S. Open? <laughs> you know how sometimes you think things uh, and then you stop yourself and it just goes away. But this, this one I was actually so dumb that I laughed. I almost asked you because I was thinking of something of Saturday Night Live. And I swear to you, I almost said... What night is Saturday Night Live on? Oh, but I stopped it in my head. It didn't pass oh, the break. last filter. It didn't pass the last one. <laughs> pass spell check. It passed grammar check. It didn't pass common sense check. <laughs> uh, two people said the Open Championship. Three people each said the Masters and the PGA Championship. Six people said the U.S. Open. The correct answer. The Masters. B. The Masters. Yeah, I did Don't not. They, get a green jacket? they do get a green jacket, but I didn't do that on purpose. I knew that, but I didn't know the answer. Uh, all right, here we go. That is question five, so we'll take a look at our standings for the first time. Currently in first place, Snowbound Hellhound. I like it. Uh, Stop Gaslighting <laughs> Elmo. Currently in second, CB27 in third. We have Mert and Lernie in fourth. We have Mary B in fifth, the Putnam Zoo in sixth, Ryan in seventh, Sorella Sand in eighth, Steffi Star in ninth, Miss Quarantini and Mr. Snowball Aww. in tenth, Brianna and Jeremy in eleventh, Team Kemper, what's up, my friends in twelfth, A1A, Beachfront Avenue. Oh, you took me back to 
when I was three years old listening to Vanilla Ice. Uh, high school sweethearts in 14th. I love it. Thank you all for being here. That's only five questions of many that we have to come. Uh, so we're going to dive back into this. All right, here we go. Question number six. Uh, in November 2021, Michelle Wu became the first woman to serve as mayor of what U.S. city? First woman ever to serve as mayor of what U.S. city? Is it Boston, Los Angeles, New York City, or San Francisco? A lot of songs about San Francisco. I'm not giving away anything. I'm not trying to give it. But I, I know. A couple songs about Boston. Plenty about New York City. But San Francisco. Uh, nine people said Boston. Two people said New York City. Three people said San Francisco. Uh, the correct answer here bean town what they call it right boston boston the correct answer cool things happening all right question number seven ah, we are chugging along like a train choo choo in october which atlanta braves player was named the most valuable player of the world series now a very specific sports question one person earns this. The MVP of the World Series was whom? Was it uh, Jorge Sole uh, or George Soler? Uh, Freddie Freeman, Adam Duvall, Dansby Swanson, A, B, C, or D? Who was the MVP of the World Series? Oh, I forgot about the chat. Hello, uh, friends out here. I see Ryan. Hey, Jess. Jeremy. Good to see you. Two days in a row. Hey, Sarah. Amy JK. Are you on a cruise right now? You playing from the ocean? Team Kemper. Welcome. Lots of people out here. Good to see y'all. Uh, I wish I had looked up how to pronounce this individual's name. Uh, the correct answer, as seven of you knew, is <laughs> Jorge Soler or George Soler. Soler. I... It could be either, and I should have looked it up. Everybody prefers. I like Dansby Swanson because I like that. I name. love that name, Dansby <laughs> Swanson. That sounds like it would be a character on How I Met Your Mother. Huh? Who's my friend, Dansby Swanson? Uh, Barney Stinson's cousin. All right, question number eight. In June of 2021, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry gave birth to a bo uh, gave birth to a daughter that they named what? Is it Elizabeth, Irene, Iris, or Lilibet? It's actually, fun fact, it's my middle name. I don't see trouble as an option. <laughs> Danger. Well, I came back to snow and bitter cold. Yep, yeah. It's so cold today uh, where we are that um, I had an appointment this morning and the car was fine, but leaving our driveway where it had some type of wind resistance uh, and being in an open parking lot, I guess it got cold enough that it froze the door latch, uh, which I've since learned is a known issue when it is consistently in, in below zero. So my door wouldn't close. So I had to drive home uh, from my appointment holding, I felt like I had a Jeep. But, you know, you always want a Jeep and you drive with the doors off, but you don't drive with the door open. But, yeah, I had to hold it. Uh, I felt like a rally car, right, driver or something. Uh, hey, I made it. Uh, I mean, good thing you were two minutes away. Yeah, it wasn't far. Twelve people said a little bit. Twelve people got it right. Great job. All right, question number nine of this 2021 trivia tonight. Adele might have heard of her returned with a new album in 2021. <laughs> Which of the following options is not actually a title of one of her age-themed studio album titles, all named after different ages? Which of these is not an actual one that she released? Is it 19, 21, 25, or 29? Shoot. 
Need a hair. Yeah, I actually, I have a, I have a heat gun, Sarah. I just haven't gone out to do it. Uh, that's a good point. I have a heat. Heat guns don't have a lot of applications uh, to take up as much space as they do in a workshop, but when they come in handy, they come in really handy. Like unfreezing your car. You don't want to use a torch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not an English torch. The correct answer here. Uh, I almost put 22 as an answer, but I thought some people. Ooh. Correct answer is 29. Almost everybody got it. I think the newest one is 30. I knew it was 21, but guess what? I actually did. You hit 25? Sorry. All right, question number 10. Taking a second to load. For her album Folklore, who became the first woman to win the annual Album of the Year Grammy three times already in her career? Who accomplished this feat? Was it Adele, Beyonce, Billie Eilish, or Taylor Swift? All right, uh, as you would have it, Gina received a special gift today, uh, a late Christmas gift, and she's gonna help me uh, reveal the answer here. One person said Adele, everyone else correctly said. I think we can Am see I in it. The camera? Yeah, Taylor Swift. That was well planned out, well executed, not well planned out. Good job, Gina. And good job, 13 of you got that right. That's question 10, which means it's time for a standings update. Let's take a look at the board. Currently in first place is Sobcast Lighting Elmo. Just 87 points ahead of Snowbound Hellhound. CB27 is in third. Everybody else can take a look. See where you're at. I'm not going to read them all off every time, but they will be scrolling through. So see where you're at. We'll get started with the next set of questions here in just a moment. All right, here we go. Next set of questions. Question number 11. In October, uh, Joe Quenneville, Coach Q, formerly of the Blackhawks, resigned as which NHL team's head coach? It was not the Blackhawks. It's not an option. Not trying to confuse you here. But just this past October, Joe Quenneville resigned as the coach of which NHL team? Was it the Florida Panthers, the Los Angeles Kings, the New York Rangers, or the Vancouver Canucks. All right, all right. All right, everybody is in. Most of you said the Florida Panthers. Uh, two people each said the New York Rangers and the two uh, and the Vancouver Canucks. Correct answer was the Florida Panthers. Nothing about the name Florida Panthers makes me think hockey, like hockey in Florida mm -hmm. and no. Panthers in Florida. Sounds like football team. It does sound like a football team. Uh, all right, question number twelve. In July, what entrepreneur was part of the space flight Blue Origin S NS16? NS16 Blue Origin, who was on it? Was it Jeff Bezos, Mark Cuban, Elon Musk, or Mark Zuckerberg? Musk. <laughs> CEO Entrepreneur. 
Born in 1964. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Couple seconds left. Uh, let's see. I think everybody got this one. A couple of great, great dudes going to space. Oh, come on. <laughs> you like, just... Seeing this lineup of names makes me a little uh, nauseous. Should have just stayed there. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Bezos is the correct answer. Showered his money down on us. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Bezos. Jeff. Um, question 13 is coming up after this brief message from our internet connection. Uh, the 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference took place in which country this is big news actually no hey uh was it australia germany scotland or japan you had one job ns60 ceo entrepreneur now that song's in my head all right everybody's in uh it looks like we thought it was one of two of these options so we thought it was either germany or scotland uh the correct answer is scotland scotland was it glasgow or edinburgh I don't, do you remember glasgow uh yeah scotland the correct answer uh question 14 is the number after 13. Uh, speaking of hockey, the Tampa Bay Lightning defeated which team in the 2021 Stanley Cup Final? Tampa Bay Lightning won, but they defeated which team in the 2021 Stanley Cup Final? Was it, Mon was it the Montreal Canadiens, the New York Islanders, the Vegas Golden Knights, or the Winnipeg Jets? You know, I guess, are there a lot of golden knights in Vegas? <laughs> I feel like there are probably Canadians in Montreal. There are certainly Islanders in New York. Um, oh, I don't know. It's not golden. There's probably jets in Winnipeg, you know? Yeah, but not golden. Not golden. <laughs> Everybody is in. Uh, two people said the Winnipeg Jets, four people said the Vegas Golden Knights, and eight people said the Montreal Canadiens. And eight people were correct. Great job. Some hockey fans out here tonight. Uh, if you got A, you earned some points. Uh, speaking of points, we'll take another look at these standings here in just a moment. Question number 15. In September, Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli began airing on what network? I wonder if you guys were excited as I was. Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli began airing in what network in 2021 September? Was it ABC, Fox Sports 1, ESPN 2, or NBC Sports Network? Oh, I think my uh, water is going to be floating in the air. No, it's, it looks black. <laughs> it's cool. It's black and white. All right, everybody's in. Let's see. Two people said Fox Sports 1. Three people said the NBC Sports Network. And nine people said ESPN 2. Nine people were correct. Great job. Uh, that was a tougher one. Okay, that's question 15. As promised, here are the updated standings. And Taco's updated sleeping position. Currently in first now, uh, I think this is a switch, uh, Snowbound Hellhound, uh, 13 correct. Stop Gaslighting Elmo also with 13 correct. Merton Lurney up into third. Uh, very, very close game right now. First and second only separated by 28 points. Uh, second and third separated by 201 and we've still got 30 questions to go 
4,500 points. Yeah, I agree. All right. Question number 16. Are we done with sports now? Yeah, uh, maybe, Team Kemper. Uh, maybe, but probably not. Uh, which of the following artists did not receive at least six nominations at the 2021 Grammy Awards? It's ridiculous that this is a thing. There's so many people receiving so many nominations. It's incredible. Uh, but one of these people didn't. So which one of them didn't? Uh, is it Beyonce, Doja Cat, Dua Lipa, I should say, or Taylor Swift? Apologize. All right, everybody is in. Let's take a look. Two people each said Taylor Swift and Doja Cat. Six people said Beyonce. Four people said Dua Lipa. Uh, the correct answer was Doja Cat. Uh, Doja Cat, I think she won big on a couple, but uh, did not really <laughs> receive at least six nominations. Uh, question number 17. Ah, uh, here's a fun one. In what city did the new sporting events venue Climate Pledge Arena premiere in 2021? If you want to go to Climate Pledge Arena, is where that? are you going to go? Gina's over here trying to give me clues, trying to get me to give her clues. No, I already answered. No insider trading. That's what did in Martha. All right. A couple seconds left. Everybody's in. All right. One person said Austin. Correct answer is Seattle. Seattle. Almost. The only reason I guess that is because I saw the mountain. In yeah, that is, a, that is a mountainy mountain back there. Question number 18. Maybe. I do apologize. A little bit of internet slow down. Here we go. The Netflix series, The Queen's Gambit. A uh, huge hit at the very end of 2020, the beginning of 2021. Won the 2021 Golden Globe Award for Best Miniseries. The show's the main character, Beth Harmon, is a prodigy playing what sport? Is it poker? Tennis, chess, or bridge? Oh. All right, all right, all right. Couple seconds left. Uh, I believe we asked another question about this uh, this series in the past, uh, but the question was regarding Christmas last year. Sales of what equipment went up by like 160%, and it was chess boards. Chess boards. Everybody got this. A lot of people got chess boards last year, this year. Uh, so great job. Great job. Great job. Question number 19. Uh, Britney Spears, you may have heard of her, her conservatorship finally ended in 2021. Now, what was her second Las Vegas residency going to be called before being canceled? What was it going to be called? Was it Britney Live in Concert, Britney Peace of Me, Femme Fatale, or Britney Domination? Broke the taco can. I did. 
did. Is it broke? I mean, it popped off and I put it back together. Oh. I don't know if it's working, but you can probably get two dollars out of it. I'm sure it's fine. You want to try it? Mm -mm. Just the one. All right, everybody is in, and we knew that it wasn't Britney live in concert, but beyond that, three people thought Britney piece of me and femme fatale. Eight people thought it was going to be Britney domination, uh, but that is no more. The correct answer is Britney domination. Good job. Question 20 coming up. Uh, here we go. Question 20. What film actually won Best Picture at the 2021 Academy Awards? Which of these films won Best Picture? Was it actually The Trial of the Chicago 7? The one that I've seen. Was it Nomadland, The Sound of Metal, or Judas and the Black Messiah? Uh, That was, oh, you're right. I did see Judas and Black Messiah. And Sound of Metal is an Amazon Prime film, so we could watch that. We have a class TV that All right, everybody's in. One person said The Sound of Metal. 13 people correctly said Nomad Land. Great job. Uh, that's question 20, which means it's time to take a look at those standings. So. Here we go. Currently in first is Snowbound Hellhound. Uh, just a little bit ahead of stop Gaslighting Elmo still uh, there in second. CB27 is now up into third, only about 200 points back. Uh, and it's still only about a 60-point game from first to second. This is, uh, this is Mazda. We'll play Mazda. <laughs> he's our foster right now. He's eight years old, and he's named Mazda because he was found on the streets of Chicago sleeping underneath a Mazda. Uh, but I've decided that his name is Mazi, and it's short for mozzarella. Uh, and he is currently here with us trying to gain weight because he was four pounds when they found him. Uh, and he's up to about seven and a half now. So he's here with us too. He's gonna help us with this next set of questions, starting with question 21. All right, you wanna read it, Matsi? Oh. All right, uh, question 21. Which of the following TV series won the most awards? We're switching it up. We're not talking about the Oscars. We're talking about the Golden Globes overall. Which of these series won the most awards at the 78th Golden Globe Awards? Was it Ozark, Schitt's Creek, The Crown, or The Queen's Gambit? Ooh. There you go. <laughs> He's got to wear sweaters because he doesn't have any hair right now. They had to he shave had to him. Shave. He was so matted. Hair. But he was for sure somebody's pet. Yeah, he, he knows. acts like a pet. He knows. He's a pet. He's a little boy. All right, everybody's in. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, so much so that I think this is the most finely split set we've had between three. Oh God, I forgot to answer this question. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at the dog. Five people said Shit's Creek. Four people said The Crown. And four people said The Queen's Gambit. The correct answer here, one that I have yet to start, but uh, I am considering The Crown. The Crown. Uh, Ozark, if you're a fan, I believe just released a trailer uh, for what I believe is season four. Uh, yeah, that was just released. All right, here we go. Question number 22. Question 22. It's the question after 21. Uh, here we go. Eight years in the making. Eight years in the making. Which artist's 2020 release titled Fetch the Bolt Cutters one at the 2021 Grammys for the best alternative music album. Was it Fiona Apple, Bjork, Tom York, or Beck? Bjork, Tom York. 
Mm. They're fun to say back to back. Bjork, Tom York. Bjork, Tom York. I was thinking about um, being an apple eater. <laughs> really? I just loved her. Were you eating apples? No, I think I was green. Uh, everybody's in. Let's see who knew. What was her really big one? Criminal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Off that music video. Yeah. Uh, five people thought it was Beck. Eight people thought it was Fifi herself. The correct answer is Fiona Apple. Fiona Apple. It's a critical acclaim. Uh, fetch the bolt cutters. Question number 20 and three. Uh, speaking of Grammys, we're switching it up. I always uh, am told we don't do enough about country music. So here's a country music question. Wild Card was the title of an album that won the 2021 Grammy Award for Best Country Album. Who released Wild Card on the 2021 Grammy for Best Country Album? Was it Ashley McBride, Brandy Clark, Miranda Lambert, or Taylor Swift? struggles here correct answer is miranda lambert miranda lambert you know i saw miranda lambert uh in uh like 2006 in really? taylorsville illinois what were you doing there uh the girl i was dating at the time loved miranda lambert and she played like she played in like a baptist church and they sold tickets so we bought tickets online but you go and it was literally just like folding chairs set up and we went and we saw and she, she lived in fun? oh it was great it was weird Sounds about right. uh but yeah taylorville illinois population it might not even be there anymore no, uh i don't know question 24 <laughs> this, was, this was 15 years ago cheesy pete's uh question 24 in march you may remember global shipping stalled for six days as the suez oh canal God. was blocked by a massive <laughs> container ship Named what? What was the name of the ship that blocked it up? Was it the Ever Green, the Ever Graceful, the Ever Given, or the Ever Gallant? Or Gallant, if you will. Uh, you know what show I'd like to watch, and I think that you would probably say you would do a rewatch? Gallivant. Oh, sure, yeah, that's a good one. I never saw it, but... It was fine. Yeah, multiple people have said it's, it's good. I thought of it when I, I said gallant. Like Timothy. Uh, Oliphant. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. From Lassie from Psych. Yeah. Timothy Oliphant. <laughs> we need a two for one special. Omenson. Omenson. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. Uh, like the Shakespearean a theater actor. Whoa. He's incredible. Uh, six people said the evergreen, and five people said the ever given. Uh, it was one of those two. <laughs> it was. Uh, this wasn't like a complete upset. Uh, it's not that it was ever graceful, but ever graceful would have been a really ironic name. Right. <laughs> ever not stuck is the name of my boat. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is the ever given. The ever given. All right. Question twenty-five. Seen this movie. does feel like years ago yeah ryan tw i thought 2020 was going to be the longest year ever and then i thought 2021 was going to be the longest year ever and i have a bad feeling about 2022 just kidding 2022 is looking good so far uh two game of thrones cast members hey sarah appeared in the 2021 marvel film eternals uh kit harrington was one of them who was the other major oh. actor <laughs> From Game of Thrones, I was in Eternals. Was it Alfie Allen, Amelia Clark, Richard Madden, or Sophie Turner? That was perfect. <laughs> yeah. 
did they have a baby yet? Uh, him and uh, Rose? Did I think they were pregnant, right? I'll tell you in a moment. Uh, yeah, baby boy. Yeah, they're very private. Good. Very, very happy. Oh, yeah, baby boy. All right, everybody's in. Let's see. Yeah, no big struggles here. Alfie Allen, uh, two people each said Sophie and Amelia, but the correct answer is Richard Madden, Rob himself. Good job. Uh, that's question 25, which means it's time for a look at those standings once again. Here we go. Currently in first, stop gaslighting Elmo up into first by exactly 100 points. That looks comfortable, Taco. All right, here we go. Question number 26. Oh, you can't even see on screen. <laughs> this little sweater. All right, you're not the host, buddy. Let's go back up here. All right. Uh, led by this individual, which team won the NBA championship in 2021? Who won the NBA championship in 2021? Was it the Atlanta Hawks, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Milwaukee Bucks, or the Phoenix Suns? Wow, my internet is really bad. I do apologize if anybody's seeing any streaming issues. I thought we were just still in 2020. Oh, I love it. We saw her at Illinois a few years back, too. Nice, Team Kemper. All right, everybody is in. The correct answer, no struggles here. A lot of you, uh, maybe not a lot, but quite a few of you. I know this is a very personal win. Living very closely. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Great job. Thanks to Chris and Amy. That's the only reason I need this. Oh, good job, Amy. You helped uh, Gina get this one right. <laughs> Question 27. Uh, in 2021, Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from her husband, Kanye West. He took it so hard, he decided to change his name. His name is now legally what? His first name is now legally what? Is it Pablo? Ye, Jesus, or Yeezy. I thought you said his name is what? <laughs> well, you got mom jokes. That's not mom. Wait, is that dad joke? Mom joke? Can I make a dad joke or mom? The Gina joke? <laughs> this gift. <laughs> All right. Did you see the pictures of. Uh, I'm not much on celebrity stuff, but for whatever reason. Um, I don't know if I was on YouTube and, and ads were popping up or something, but I saw more celebrity stuff today than I've seen probably in like the last six months. Mm -hmm. But I saw that um, Pete Davidson and, and Kim Kardashian were just in the Virgin Islands or the Dominican. And then Kanye has been uh, buying his new girlfriend all these outfits of the same designer that he always bought for Kim. And this is just, I was... I couldn't care about uh, it there was another study I'll I'm tell you about it later. I'm surprised that you were reading about this. Well, the f okay, so I'm just going to say it right now. The funniest part is I think it was on Snapchat where they have, like, the popular yeah, stories. Yeah. But the, the article below, like, two of those was study shows people who obsess over celebrities tend to have lower cognitive, like, intelligence. <laughs> and it was below, like, four articles about celebrities. Anyway, yeah. guys, I'm way off topic. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm on topic, but not trivia. The correct answer is yay. Kanye. Ye. Yay. Well, you know, now he's got to always explain to how it's pronounced. Question 28. Coming up. Uh, this is an interesting one. It's about awards the oscars but 
We're talking geography at the exact same time. Which country earned its very first Oscar nomination, made history for the international feature film, uh, with the film The Man Who Sold His Skin in 2021. The Man Who Sold His Skin earned what country its first Oscar nomination? Was it Tunisia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Hong Kong, or Denmark? Hey, at this next... Um, thing you want. Same thing. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. All right. Somebody's falling asleep. All right. Everybody's in. Uh, and we were kind of unsure again. Two people each said Denmark and Hong Kong. Uh, five people each said Tunisia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. The correct answer is Tunisia. Tunisia. Great job. I haven't seen that either. Um, question 29. Hi, how are you? That's my face. Oh, that is my mouth. Hi, thank you so you just much. To me near. Thank you. Uh, in January, the very beginning of 2021, traders uh, is a loose definition. Uh, individuals from which website caused a short squeeze on GameStop stock? causing it to skyrocket, forcing a pause in trading. Made history. Individuals from which of these websites came together to make this happen? Was it BuzzFeed, Facebook, 4chan, or Reddit? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, bud. Why don't you lay right there? You don't want to jump from up there. All right, here we go. And a couple seconds left. Once again, make sure you're taking a guess, even if you're not sure. Uh, you're never losing points here, even if you're wrong. Hey, bud. All right, everybody's in. So three people said 4chan, which I think is <laughs> always the most likely culprit. Uh, but in this case, the correct answer was Reddit. Reddit. Uh, great job. Almost all of you got this right. Question number 30. Coming up. All right. Which millennial pop star did Martin Short and Steve Martin team up with in the Hulu original comedy Only Murders in the Building? It's something I have seen, and it's fantastic. Uh, who starred along with Martin Short and Steve Martin in Only Murders in the Building? Was it Selena Gomez? Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, or Billie Eilish? What's up, bud? You can't eat candles. That's not something that dogs eat. Well, I guess that's not something that dogs should eat. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this does feel like it was a day ago and 10 years ago. That is very true, especially with this show in particular for some reason. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it ended like two weeks ago, but I could almost guarantee you that it ended six months ago. Uh, and we watched it as it came out every week. Ugh. Anyway, everybody got it. Uh, she was so good in this. Honestly, one of the first things I've watched with her in it, I really enjoyed. Selena Gomez, correct answer. Selena Gomez, great job. Uh, that's question 30, which means it's time for a look at the standings, which means we can give this guy a break, give you a... Oh, Taco's gone, so I guess never mind. Uh, but I will give you the standings. Here we go. Currently, in first place, Snowbound Hellhound snuck up there, or, or is hanging on actually right now, uh, by 41 points. Uh, stop gaslighting Elmo, battling back and forth with Snowbound Hellhound. Third place is CB27. Uh, everybody else, take a look. Once again, you are somewhere down that list. Whether you're at the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Especially not yet, because we still have 15 questions to go. That's a lot of points. That's uh, 2,250 points still up for grabs. Uh, so, 
Don't give up hope. Lots of points up for grabs. Lots of questions left to come. Uh, and with that said, let's get that started. Here we go. Question number 31. Uh, what is the name? Now, this is a question where the picture is necessary. You, want, you have to look at the picture. What is the name of the legendary Mexican singer shown here uh, who unfortunately passed away in December 2021? Very famous, legendary Mexican singer passed away very recently. Who are we looking at here? Is this Juan Gabriel, Luis Miguel, Vicente Fernandez, or Pepe Aguilar? Who is this? Uh, we, do, we do have a number of questions tonight. As I mentioned, um, we, don't, we have no questions, uh, as far as I can remember, no questions about politics or um, disasters or tragedies. Uh, but I do like um, uh, speaking about celebrities uh, that passed away in 2021. Um, it's always fun just to highlight them and uh, you know, bring them back up. So uh, we do have a few. I think this is one of the first uh, individuals that we're talking about tonight. Uh, so, with that said, awesomely, 11 of you got this, right? Great job. This is Vicente Fernandez. Great job. 11 of you got the points on this one. All right, here we go. Question 32. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, speaking of, yeah, so along the same line here, fans of the Rolling Stones and many other individuals grieved the loss of the band's reliable, even-keeled drummer in 2021. What was his name? What was the name of the famous drummer of the Rolling Stones? And this will be starting here in just one moment. <laughs> Uh, the Rolling Stones drummer who passed away here at, just in 2021. Was it John Bonham, Ringo Starr, Charlie Watts, or Keith Moon? Oh. Well, shouldn't be doing that. Sorry, everybody. Oh. This little guy. All right, everybody is in. And let's take a look once again. The correct answer was and is Charlie Watts. Good job. Question 33. Uh, in April, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and husband of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II passed away at what age? How old was Prince Philip when he passed away? Was it 96, 99, 102, or 103? She doesn't look a day over 150. There was a lot of speculation. They said... Um, was it this year was going to be the first time that she was going to give her Christmas address, like her Christmas, British Christmas mm -hmm. message, um, or she Nathan. wasn't going to be giving it. Uh, no, not <laughs> Nathan. Uh, it was going to be the first year, and everybody was like, yeah, she's dead. Like, ah. Oh. She's, but no, I, she, she's fine, last I saw. She's over it. Yeah. She's just like, you know what? I don't want to do it. I'm the queen. <laughs> I don't want to do a Christmas message. Five people said 96. Eight people said Unfortunately, the same as our beautiful, beautiful Betty White, 99. 99. Question. Is there a Betty White question? Uh, that was 2022. Question 34. Was literally the last day. Oh, was that 2021? Yeah. Oh, my God, I blocked it out. I blocked it out. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Which player was selected as the very first pick of the 2021 NHL draft? This is probably the hardest sports question of the night. Uh, I know some of you think they're all hard. That's fine, but this is probably the toughest. Which player was selected first pick of the 2021 NHL draft? I think this might be a picture of him right here, so maybe not that tough. Was it Marty Beniers, Owen Power, Luke Hughes, or Mason McTavish?
much about hockey, but I'm pretty sh- like this guy. I'm sure is great at hockey, but he probably got drafted for his name alone because it's awesome. His name is Owen Power. Ooh. Owen Power. I Owen that power. <laughs> Remember the Simpsons? Was it Max Power? So he changed his name like two X's. Oh, that's awesome. uh, anyway. Great job. Four of you got that. That was a tough one. Question number 35. Uh, The Olympics happened this year. Uh, You might have seen them. Which country won the most gold medals at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics? That were the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Which country ended up with the most gold medals? Was it China, the USA, Japan, or Great Britain? Who got the gold? Show me the gold. Eeny, meeny, miny, moated. Listen, you onomatopoeia'd it, Team Kemper. Even if it's not smell, smelled right. Even if it's not uh-huh. spelled right, we figured it out. Sounded it out, and it was perfect. All right, um, everybody's in. And four people said China. So, (laughs) speaking of interesting stories, so if you want to listen to China and China's propaganda, uh, China won the most medals uh, ever. (laughs) Like, uh, I think they, (laughs) it's even worse. Yeah, at this this point, oh God, yeah, that was happening here for a couple years. Uh, But no, this came out, the same kind of thing that North Korea does. North Korea said uh, that Kim Kim Jong-un invented burritos in 2011. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't even I thought that was an onion article no I don't think it was uh, anyway USA is the correct answer here USA got the most gold I think we had the most overall medals as well uh, so good job question 35 is done uh, which means it's time for the standings and let's see if Taco's back on the mat oh he is uh, we'll get a better light angle on him here oh still close snowbound hellhound in first stop get get and CB27 Jeremy. hanging on tight to third place. Jeremy said China won more gold medals than the Olympic side events. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. More gold medals than the Olympic side events. <coughs> All right, we're back at it. We have 10 questions left. Uh, And again, these are not ordered by difficulty, so these are not, um, they may not be the toughest questions of the night. Maybe they are. Maybe randomly these are, but uh, don't give up hope if you're not doing hot right now. Maybe you hit a couple in a row that you know everything about and everyone else doesn't. So here we go. Excuse me, question number 36, the 2021 NFL season will conclude with Super Bowl uh, 56. Which U.S. state is hosting the game? Where will Super Bowl 56 be? Is it California, Florida, Arizona, or Louisiana? Did those pop up? Yeah, there they are. Super Bowl's on February 13th this year. Yeah, right before um, Valentine's Day, I also heard that Dr. Dre, uh uh-oh, no, was it Dr. Dre? Yeah, Dr. Dre might lose millions if the Super Bowl gets canceled. Yeah, it's Dr. Dre, not yet. Did Uh, you know Snoop, Dre, and Eminem are doing the halftime show? And Kendrick Lamar, and uh, Mary J. Blige, I think. You're gonna love it. Or Erica Badu. But uh, but the whole point was, this article actually was very self-toned. It was well written, where it said he may lose millions, although... Uh, it was recently reported that he's very close to a net worth of $1 billion. So really, who's counting? Or something like that. But it's crazy that still nowadays, ever since like SARS, insurance policies are written to exclude communicable disease 
cancellations. But why would he lose millions? Oh, because Dr. Dre actually fronted a lot to bring in the people. Oh. Like he's paying. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that wasn't explained. Well. Yeah. Over. <laughs> Everybody's in the correct answer anyway is California. It's not gonna get canceled. Uh it's gonna happen. Um I believe I heard today, I obviously don't agree with these kind of things, uh, but they had stated the NFL said that if California won't open their policies to allow the number of fans that they want, they're gonna move it to Texas. So that that's is a gross Yeah, sentence. that's a thing. That's happening. Question thirty seven Yeah. <laughs> All right, a couple questions left. Watermelon Sugar, you might have heard of it, won the 2021 Grammy Award for Best Pop Solo Performance. Which of these artists performed the song? Was it Harry Styles, Jacob Collier, Justin Bieber, or Rufus Wainwright? That was just a bunch of H's. <laughs> All right. Everybody's in. Uh, 13 people said, my friend and yours, Harry Styles, which is the correct answer. My friend and yours. We wish. Oh, yeah, we hang out. Question 38. This... It's a tougher one. In July, which country won the UEFA Euro 2020 tournament that was held in 2021? So we got some makeup events this year. So Euro 2020 was held in 2021. Who won the tournament? Was it Denmark, Italy, England, or Spain? The United European Football Association? Oh. Maybe. I just made that up. Oh, the Union of European Football Associations. Yeah. All right, everybody is... And three people said Spain, one person said England, ten people said Italy. I think England did okay, but they didn't win. That was Italy. Italy. All right, question 30. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Doctor. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Nothing, you idiot. Doctor, she just locked in my face. But, wow, that was... Ah, that was a good chuckle. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, question 39. <laughs> uh, when the Oscar nominations were announced on March 15th last year, history was made as which actress became the first person ever nominated for both an Academy Award and a famous Razzie or a Golden Raspberry for the same performance? This is the first individual to receive this. Was it Maria Bakala Baklava? Baklava? Oh, I know what this is. Was it Amanda Seyfried, Francis McDormand, or Glenn Close? Maria Baklava? Is that her name? Bakalova. Bakalova. That makes way more sense. Or Bakalova. Bakalova. I'm going to stick with Baklava. Anyway, she gave her <laughs> You ever tried making baklava? Do you know me? <laughs> yep, say it like it's spelled. Yeah, yeah, baklava. Yeah, I say everything. It's just my eyes don't always see how it's spelled correctly. It's the issue. All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. Uh, Maria, sweet Greek dessert. Five people said, two people said Amanda. Three people said Francis McDormand. The correct answer... Uh, what was the film? Do you remember? Um, oh, it was Hillbilly Elegy, I believe. Glenn Close. Glenn oh, Close. And here I thought it was Borat. I thought it was Maria Bakula. Oh, no, no. Oh, as far as wow, I... I am as, as far as I saw... Uh, I never saw Hillbilly. 
Yeah, no, critics and audiences alike, I feel like I'm doing a commercial, uh, praised her for that portrayal in, in Borat 2, uh, even though the film overall wasn't loved. Uh, but yeah, Glenn Close apparently was super good and super bad. Um, question 40. Coming up. In August, Sony announced that the new host of Jeopardy would be which person? A move that lasted all of two weeks before being reversed. Who was the host of Jeopardy uh, for about two weeks? Was it Ken Jennings, Mike Richards, Anderson Cooper, or Dr. Az? All right. <laughs> it's unfortunate you all missed that conversation about green skin tones. <laughs> uh, two people said Ken Jennings. Uh, he is, I believe, for this season, now switching off with uh, Mayim Bialik. Uh, but the correct answer was Mike Richards. We no longer speak his name. Uh, Mike Richards, former executive producer and our executive director and host, now none of the above. Yeah, Steph, I was just about to say that. All right, here he we get. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, and first, Snowbound Hellhound, but it's still close, although a little bit more of a gap. Snowbound Hellhound with 4684, stop gaslighting Elmo with 4474. Uh, so a 210 point difference here, but not insurmountable by any means. All right, here we go. Question 41. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez reunited in 2021. In case you cared, which of these men has Jennifer Lopez not been romantically linked to in the past? This gif. I know. Uh, which of these men has Jennifer Lopez not been romantically linked to in the past? Was it Mark Anthony Pitbull? Alex Rodriguez or Sean Puffy P. Diddy Puffy P. Did Combs Daddy Diddy Which one? Oh yeah 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 Alright we have to watch Encanto Yes I heard that Just got like two more messages about it Alright Everybody's in, and everybody got it. Mr. Worldwide has not traveled to Jenny's block. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Question 42. Woo. Question 42. Uh, in the Oscars pre-show... The nominated song Khusavik from the Eurovision Song Contest was performed from the village of Khusavik in what country? Eurovision. Not only a Netflix movie with Will Ferrell that not many people watch, also a real thing. Uh, the Khusavik song performed from the village of Khusavik in what country? Was it Norway, Iceland, Sweden, or Finland? All right, everybody's in. Two people said Norway. Seven of the people said Iceland. Five people said Sweden. Correct answer was Iceland. Iceland, surprisingly green. Greenland, surprisingly covered in ice. Question 43. Uh oh, don't look. We might go to 44. Got a little bit of a lag here. 
Don't look, everybody. Don't cheat. Okay. Oh, do we stay? We're good. We're good. All right, here we go. Asking like somebody's going to answer. Uh, NHL's newest team uh, that joined in the 2021-22 season, the Kraken. Play for which city? The newest NHL team, the Kraken. Is it Memphis, <laughs> Las Vegas, Cleveland, or Seattle? Uh, sometimes the gifts aren't a hint, and sometimes they inadvertently are when I didn't think about the gift. Yeah, I didn't put too many options up there. They start with the letter. You know what? It's okay. So these questions have been a little hard. So, <laughs> start with the letter S. I could have at least said Seattle. Memphis. San Francisco. San yeah, Sas Vegas. Sortland. <laughs> uh, the correct answer. We actually, um, you might remember this from nine hours ago uh, about question six, where we did the question about the climate change awareness arena <laughs> whatever it was called um climate pledge arena it that is the kraken's home uh -huh. in seattle so that's why you saw the mountain in the back uh seattle is where they play so everything comes together here at begatrix trivia question 44 of round number four nhl's whoop, that was the last one in april of 2021 legendary rapper dmx suddenly unexpectedly passed away what was dmx's actual given name obviously he went by dmx but what was dmx's real name was it sean carter earl simmons christopher wallace or Dwayne carter jr Everybody is in. Let's take a look. Uh, so nobody said Sean Carter. That's Jay-Z. Uh, one person said Christopher Wallace. That was the notorious B.I.G. Dwayne Carter Jr. Uh, is Lil Wayne. The correct answer here is Earl Simmons. Earl Simmons. All right, only two questions left. Uh, my friends, it's a close game. Every point's going to count. So answer quickly, but answer correctly. Question 45. Chadwick Boseman posthumously won the 2021 Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture for his performance in what film? Was it Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Music, One Night in Miami, or Promising Young Woman? His name is DMX. Ryan, you're right. Yeah, D. DMX, that's correct. Uh, the correct answer here, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Good job, 11 of you got points. We have one question left. Let's see what it is. Question 46 for our 2021 trivia. After this question, we never talk of 2021 again. Last year, Trent Reznor was nominated for two Oscars for Best Original Score. This is at uh, the Academy Awards. Of course, prior to becoming a film composer, Reznor was the founder of what Hall of Fame rock band? Was it Skinny Puppy, KMFDM, Nine Inch Nails, or Ministry? Wow, these options are bringing me back. <laughs> I, when I saw Skinny Puppy, I was thinking Snarky Puppy when I was coming up with things. I was like, well, I guess he could, he could be in Snarky Puppy, but it'd be an interesting combo, a combo there. All right. 
everybody's in. And guess what, guys? Uh, we had some tough questions here, but we're ending, ending it on a fantastic note. Every single one of you got it right. Nine inch nails. That is a social. Cheers, everybody. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Cheers. Whatever you're drinking, water, lemonade, iced tea, hot cocoa, maybe some downtime coffee or a cocktail. Uh, cheers. You guys, all of you answered this last one correctly. All right. All we have left to do is announce the winners. So before we do that, I want to give a big thank you uh, excuse me. Uh, a big thank you tonight to all of you for showing up to play trivia with us on this beautifully, very cold night here uh, in Illinois, at least. Uh, thank you so much to the Glenside Public Library for bringing us on to put this event on. We look forward, hopefully, to doing more events with you all in the future through the Glenside Library. Uh, so before we go, all we have left to do is look at the final standings. Here we go. Uh, let's see if Taco wants to announce these. Yeah, there we go. Passed out. Taco giving the drum roll. In first place, a hard-fought battle. Snowbound Hellhound. First place, 5,528 points. Answering 40 of the 46 questions correctly. Now, just because I always like to point this out, Stop Gaslighting Elmo answered the exact same number of questions correctly, which means extra praise to snowbound hellhound because that means they answered the same number correct but a lot faster that's not saying that elmo wasn't fast but wow great job snowbound hellhound cb27 held it down in third place merton learny uh sevy star in fourth and fifth great job everybody thank you so much for coming out tonight and remember whether you finish in first or last that's not important what matters is that you had a good time tonight so Thank you again for coming out. Thank you to the Glenside Public Library for putting this event on. And until next time, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Uh, go adopt a dog if you can. And we'll mm -hmm. see you later. Bye, everybody.